Hello, I'm Suzanne from Boatshed, Kent. Today we're having a look at this fabulous San Lorenzo 57 and we'll have a look at the interior first. The current owners have reupholstered this boat. She has a lovely light and airy feel. Fantastic for long stays away with copious amounts of storage and fabulous living space as well. As you can see it's a very sociable saloon area. The table as you'll see from the still shots opens out into a much larger table. There is normally a TV here and the owner is going to pop it back in the next few days. I absolutely love the modern feel, the light feel that the woodwork provides. Nice large windows with modern blinds that the owner has had installed. The boat actually has air conditioning and she has a separate heating system too. Moving forwards, here we come to the forward cabin, which comprises again a seating area and a table which will open out as you'll see from my still shots. It's a nice place to be able to dine or have your breakfast. And as we move around to the starboard side, you'll see the interior helm position with all the instrumentation that you'll find on the inventory, all itemised. The owner has replaced a lot of the instrumentation, so it's got very good navigation. Um, it has very good navigational equipment now and it's a very good setup indeed. Well the headlinings look absolutely beautiful. Here we have a cupboard and there's your helm seat there. And then we go into the galley, which is very hard to depict on the still shots. It's well fitted. There is a hob here, plenty of cupboard space below and above. There's a door to the starboard side, fridge freezer, as you'll see from the still shots. And here is the oven. lovely and clean and as we look forward you'll see that there's plenty of space to store all your utensils, cutlery and food. Have a sink here with mixer tap. We see there's another door here on the port side and there is access midships up to the flybridge. Now we're going to go down stairs to our sleeping accommodation. If we walk all the way forward we come into the owner's cabin. Fabulous sized room here and the owner tells me the bed is extremely comfortable. What you might notice is that there is lots 
and lots of storage. We've got mirrored wardrobes here, further wardrobe space, and cupboards galore. It's also some large porthole windows allowing for natural light and ventilation and as we look over to the starboard side you'll see the same there another double mirrored wardrobe and copious amount of space and drawers for all your favourite outfits this boat would actually make a fabulous liverboard as well she would certainly fit in well somewhere like St Catherine's Dock. And moving right forward here, we have the owner's en suite, which comprises wash hand basin. There's storage underneath as well. Nice lighting. Marble tops have been installed by the current owner. And here we walk through into the separate shower cubicle. Here's your shower and tray below. And again, here we have the heads. And the toilet, I believe, is a back flush toilet. These have been recently installed. Again, plenty of storage space. Now you can access the crew cabin from this door here. It's currently locked. It's quite a convenient area and currently has a freezer in it I believe and uh, I think a washing machine as well. Right, moving forward through the boat we go to the port side and the port side cabin comprises twin beds that are a decent size. Again, lots and lots of storage throughout. Porthole windows and a full-sized wardrobe cupboard and its own private ensuite with wash hand basin, mixer tap, shower tray, shower and another modern back flush toilet. As I said earlier, there are holding tanks for this vessel. Now we're walking across into the starboard side cabin. Put the lights on in here. And you can see what a pretty environment it is. Two twin beds again, decent size. Each bedroom, I believe, has its own radio controls and own windows. And again, lots and lots of storage above, all the way around here. And again, nice, full-sized wardrobe. This is a beautifully equipped boat. Absolutely stunning vessel. Gorgeous lines, absolutely wonderful to handle with the reconditioned engines, addition of bow and stern thrusters. She really is suitable for making fantastic voyages, or as I say, she would make an absolutely wonderful liverboard.